This is the Pie Boy. There are many like it, but this one is mine. And a lot of those other Pie Boys, not all of them, but most of them have a, the problem of having kind of a lower quality screen. So when I started this, I wanted to find the best screen that I could. And I found the Hyperpixel 800 by 480 resolution, 60 frames per second screen. And I was able to fit that in here and wire it up manually instead of using the header to be able to put position the pie where I wanted to so I could use the HDMI out. And it looks really good. I ended up damaging the screen just a, just a little bit. 16 lines from the bottom I had to overscan out. That's why I had to thicken up this bezel a little bit. And I brought in the, um, the sides so I can keep the aspect ratio looking a bit better instead of uh, stretching or, or having black lines or anything like that. Have the volume where it's supposed to be. Except it exits here through the screw post, the screw hole. We have the USB input to the Pi, battery voltage indicator, power, HDMI out, the micro USB in for um, charging, another USB input. That was supposed to be a power bank output, but I blew up my power boost. So now it's just another. Uh, USB input. We have something kind of unique I think is uh, whenever I started working on this project I realized right away that I needed a coolant solution and that's what this is. So here underneath the speaker grill here I have a fan that's running on 3.3 .3 volts and it's running through a channel made of two heat sinks that sandwich the pie together. Heat sink on top, heat sink on the bottom and in the channel there are two small heat sinks. So the airflow intake is here, it runs through, and it, the exit is this screw hole here. Since it's running on 3.3 volts, it's very quiet, and you can't really feel the air, you can barely, barely feel the air um, escaping, so it's nice. And it works perfectly. I did some battery testing uh, yesterday, and there's no, no issues at all. Whenever I first started this project, I was sort of making things up as I went along. And when I got to the end, I was like, how am I going to close this thing? I had no room left over. It's, there's a lot of stuff crammed in here. It's very heavy because I have a, um, like a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. I was going to use this as a power bank also. But um, I actually, actually, I think that power bank is 8,000. I think they sort of lied about that. But still, most of the internals of this is battery. So I had no room left to close it up and I tried a couple things and I ended up going with these screws, just three black screws. Next time if I actually plan ahead like a smart person, I will do something a little more, um, you know, uh, fancier, a little more elegant than these. Also these are the uh, shoulder buttons, they're 3D printed with the soft tack switches underneath. So they have a nice button press. I wanted to keep the back looking like, like the Game Boy there. I wanted to keep it, uh, keep the feel right. And I wanted to be able to sit it flat on the table. So I, I tried different buttons, but these, uh, it didn't feel right to sit on, on the table on the buttons, you know, kind of rocking and stuff. This sits nice and flat. Looks right, I like it. So let's get into, I'll show the gameplay from just my uh, battery testing.
lost him in. So that was about 3 hours and 15 minutes or so, which got me down to about 50% or 45% battery, um, which is great. That's enough for me to know that there's enough enough juice in here. I don't want to sit down. I, I had to tell my wife yesterday, I said, I have very important work to do today. And she's like, what? I had to I had to play video games until the battery dies. <laughs> you know? So it's like, it's, it's good enough for me to know. Three, 3 hours and 15 minutes for about 50% is... Fine. There's good enough information. Um, although in the, in an extended play session like that, on more complicated games, PlayStation One, Nintendo 64 games, it is my hands get kind of cramped up. So obviously this isn't the most ergonomic device. We don't buy or make these kind of devices because it's the most comfortable thing to play. We do it for the cool nostalgia. Playing Ocarina of Time on a Game Boy. That's that's awesome. That's why we do it. So, came out really well. If if you want to see kind of more of the internals, I didn't do a tutorial, but I did uh, kind of like a work montage and a quick overview of the internals um, in a couple videos in, in this playlist. So if you want to check that out, you can go for it. And thank you for watching. <laughs>